In this video, we're going to help walk you through taking your Clover site live with GoDaddy. Just a heads up that this is a walkthrough and not all GoDaddy accounts are the same. So if you find yourself getting lost or confused because yours looks slightly different, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email and we're more than happy to walk through it with you. Before taking your site live, you want to make sure that you add your domain name within the greenhouse if you haven't done so already. You can do this by clicking back to dashboard. You'll then click the more button on the right side located under the edit this site button. Here you'll click on domain management, which is where you'll be able to add your domain. Click add a domain and then enter your domain name. Click add domain to save your domain name to your account. Now you're going to click add a domain name again and you'll add your domain name without the www this time. Click add domain to save. You've successfully added the domain name to your Clover account. You can now continue with pointing your domain name through GoDaddy. Go to GoDaddy.com and click sign in in the top right corner. And then click sign in under registered users. Here you'll enter your username and password and click sign in. Now that you're signed in, you'll click on your name in the top right corner and go to manage my domain names on the left. Now, depending on how your account is set up, you may need to click the dot with the lines in the top right corner to see the full list of your domain names if you have more than one. You should see your domains listed in blue text. Click on the domain you wish to point to your Clover site. You'll then click on Manage Connection. And from here, you'll click on the DNS Zone File tab. Under A Host, you'll click on the pencil paper icon directly across from the at symbol. This is going to allow you to edit the A record. You're going to copy the IP address 52.27.100.214 and enter that in the Points 2 box. You'll then click the green Finished button. Now, generally, GoDaddy automatically will point the www under your CNAME record to the at symbol. If you see this down below, you can move on to the next step. If you don't see the www record under the CNAME, you will create that by clicking Add Record. Record type, you'll select CNAME Record. And the host is www, and that will point to the at symbol. Now generally GoDaddy says it can take up to 24 hours for it to what's called propagate or update on the system. We found generally it takes about three to four hours. Now the final step, you'll want to log back into your Clover site and you're going to see continue site setup in the top right corner of your greenhouse. The dialog box is going to pop up. Since you've already taken your site live, you're going to go ahead and click yes, let's continue. As you scroll down in your dashboard, uh, it's basically walking you through the steps of how to go live. Since you've already done this, go ahead and click show me how. This will open up the help article to go live, which you're most likely reading or watching this video on. You can go ahead and close the help article, and now you'll see the I've done this button is available. Go ahead and click this. And now you've officially told the greenhouse and our Clover servers that you've gone live. This is where it can take up to 24 hours for GoDaddy to connect to the Clover server. So within a few hours, your site will officially be live for the world to see. You can continue editing your site if you'd like, or you can celebrate by calling all of your friends and telling them to get ready to check out your brand new website. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Our number is 805-527-8900, or you can email support at cloversites.com.